19th century Bengal is important because partly capital of the British Empire is Calcutta. And Bengal has, for the centuries before, emerged as the primary trading hub for European settlements along River Rhine Bengal. Clearly, new painting techniques were also arriving. In Calcutta, it's the beginning of the art schools that is bringing in training in oil painting in a formal sense. Oil is a highly privileged and sought for medium at this time. Hanging in some of the North Kolkata mansions of the merchant elite of that region. In most cases, we don't have names for artists who are in this picture trade. They remain anonymous. The way they work on ornamentation, the details of the costuming of the figures show that they're actually adapting a miniature painting technique that the company painters clearly displayed. Now, when we come to the oil paintings, social satire seems to go away. What does travel into some of these oil paintings is the woman who is semi-nude, a seductress, the lascivious courtesan. But it's the mythological painting that really rules. Often very complex mythological subjects which carry texts within them. There is a sense of background where the viewer is invited to almost step in an architectural setting where a set of perspective and three-dimensionality is maintained. But if you think of the figures, some of them enter into a narrative performative element, say the Draupadi disrobing scene. It's highly dramatic. It's the inventiveness and their own creativity which should be also today acknowledged as we look at these books. We are witness to their skills, to their adaptability, in the ways in which they take on styles, forms and techniques and create a genre of their own.